Europe, of course, is the world's top number one, is number one tourist destination, 10%. That's a minimum, I think. I think I always say the number's higher. But traditionally, people say 10% of GDP is tourism. I think it's probably nearer 12 to 13%. 20% of jobs, though, in countries like Greece, Hungary, Cyprus, and 22% of jobs in Port Portugal. And there, of course, it is mostly the lower paid and the immigrants. The message from Portugal this year is don't cancel, postpone. Rita Marques is Portuguese tourism minister. The minister is with me now. Let's deal, first of all, with the e C rules and, and document. Now, you'd all wanted a level playing field that charted a way forward. In your view, does this go far enough to ensure you all know who can open and who cannot? Hello, Richard. Thank you. Thank you so much for the very kind invitation to join the program. Um, yes, I believe, you know, that when tourists travel across Europe, they should know that sanitary security is protected within the same quality everywhere. So uh, I believe that the recommendations of the EU um, at this point are reasonable and uh, meet our expectations. Uh, I think it's a question of both fair competition and at the same time, you know, to, to, to give the, the conditions for European member states to, um, to work and to, to foster attractive tourist destinations like, like we have in Portugal. What do you realistically and directly, what do you expect the numbers will be this year vis-à-vis -vis last year? How much down do you think you're going to be? Unfortunately, um, I think the numbers will be uh, much lower than the last year. So we are at this point estimating that we'll have a, a drop of 50%. Um, but, you know, we, we are working as we could open our doors tomorrow. Yep. So we believe that 2021 will be, you know, a good year again. And the UK, of course, it's a good market for us, as well as Spain, uh, US, uh, Canada, Brazil. So we are working as we could open the doors tomorrow. And in terms of the visitors you're getting, I, I'm, uh, Minister, I, I'm starting to think there'll be a lot of cross-border travel by car rather than by air, even though Ryanair says it's restarting 40% of its routes, etc., etc. I think that many people will want to visit across the border by motor vehicle. Do you think that's likely for, you, for, for your area? Uh, yeah, I think so. I, I think, you know, people will, uh, will like to, to travel in the future. So we will like to pick up the car and cross the borders uh, using also the rail, uh, the, the rail system in Europe. Uh, but again, I think, you know, transports by air are, will be also very important. So uh, that's why I believe that these uh, very new recommendations from the EU are very positive because it allows the coordinated, a coordinated sanitary rules approach so approach, a coordinated approach in airports, um, and this it's very important for all of us. Yeah, but, but uh, with respect, a lot of that stuff about in airports, in hotels, a lot of it's common sense and part of public health anyway. Surely the really important bit is the bit that talks about the epidemiological part, where you go, you know, only people from similar countries of similar status should be traveling to each other. That surely negates much of what you can do. You really don't want people from high areas going to visit low areas. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we will try to have these secure corridors um, that allow tourists to travel across Europe that have a kind of, you know, the, the same level of response as far as this uh, virus is concerned. Um, yeah, we will try to, to get that. Um, and I think, you know, uh, we will do our best in order to maintain this low level of infection that has been um, achieved here in Portugal. As you can imagine, here in Portugal, people uh, promptly obeyed confining measures, and this has helped Portugal to manage its right. coronavirus outbreak in a very reasonable way. Um, and so the, there was a low rate of coronavirus infections and deaths uh, when compared, especially with neighboring countries. Minister. Minister, good to have you with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, thank you.